ruined the beautiful dramatic intro with my sniffles. But um, the sun is shining. Oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. Just take a moment to appreciate that view. Imagine waking up to that, lad. Ah, oh, life can literally be so beautiful if you make it. Absolutely gorgeous. I cannot complain. Um, yeah, I can't wait for summer. I don't even know what I'm talking about here. This is the problem of unfilled videos. I lose track of, of, of my thought process, but I cannot wait for summer. We're gonna get tanned up. We're gonna be looking good. Style, that's what we're talking about today. Obviously, number one, before anything else, because a lot of you guys struggle with your style, and I'll speak to guys in my coaching and stuff all the time, and they'll say, you know, just tell me what to wear. We'll be talking about style. And they'll be like, yeah, but just tell me what to wear, Luke. What should I wear? You must understand that it's not as simple as that. Because again, the preference to everybody, everyone wears what they want to wear, everyone wears different things. I might feel confident in one thing and you might wear it and just be like, yeah, this is not me, you know, it's not for me. And that's completely fine, that's, that's the beauty of it. You know, it keeps it exciting. If we're all wearing the same thing, it'd be boring. So we have to cover the foundations before we start covering the specifics of like, ah, oh, what watch to wear and you know, what t-shirts to buy and all this kind of stuff. We'll cover the foundations that, that will work for everybody. So number one, it's probably you haven't actually thought of this before but number one very very simplistic is just get in shape you know i see a lot of guys walking around with fucking i mean style aside walking around in pajamas and shit and just not even trying so obviously number one before anything step zero is just try make the effort we'll go into that a bit more in depth in a minute but yeah get in shape you know if you're walking around and you're a stick man and you've just you've got some rag on you because it's too baggy and you know it doesn't really fit your body tight properly you're not going to really feel attractive you're not going to look as good as you could and it kind of just ruins the style as well however contrary to that if you are in shape let's just get some sun rays wow fuck you know if you're in shape naturally you can pretty much wear anything and pull it off do you know what i mean there is no kind of limitations to you you can wear anything and pull it off you know when you've got the triceps bulging the chest is bulging through the shirt you can see your muscles nice and defined you're not fat you're not got big sausage arms because oh i'm bulking i'm bulking Get your cardio in, you know, lift some fucking weights. I'm not going to waste too much time on that because it's pretty self-explanatory. Just get in shape. You can pull off anything if you're in shape, right? That's number one. The girls love it. You'll feel much more confident in yourself as well. And again, you can just kind of play around with your style a little bit because there's no limitations. You're in shape. You look fucking good. Anything looks good on you. That's great. It's a great start. Number two is to simply clear out your wardrobe of any clothes that you do not feel your best in. Now, I've made a video about this before in depth. I'm going to touch on it very, very quickly. I don't want to waste your time. Let's just recap. So we've got, we're in shape now, right? We're feeling good. We've got the muscles. The chest is bulging through. We're feeling good. Now, what do we do about the actual clothes? Well, first of all, before we start buying new ones or before I start giving you tips on which clothes to get and, you know, different ideas and all this kind of stuff, is you've got to clear out your shitty wardrobe of the clothes that you kind of just throw on, if that makes sense. So right now I'm walking in the park. I used to have this mindset of like, yeah, but I'm just going for a run. Right now, I'm literally just going for a run. Just got up. You know, I've got the bed head and stuff. So we'll just throw a cap on. We'll feel presentable. But back in the day, I used to be like, well, you know, uh, I'm just going for a run. I'm just going in the park. I'm going to get muddy anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I just throw some fucking, like anything. The color, co color coordination was all over the place. They didn't even match. And I'm not saying you have to match, but just have um, similarities in the outfit that you're wearing. Don't wear like a, a bright red hoodie with some green jeans or some bullshit. Do you know what I mean? Like stupid shit like that, just over the top, flamboyant, weird clothes. Obviously do what you want. I'm not trying to tell you how to dress, but if you want to look, fucking over. if you want to look attractive and you want to look, you want to, you know, basically just have a bit of simplicity. You're not trying to be over the top. Maybe you're not one of these people that like to go over the top. I know a lot of you guys aren't. Keep it simple and throw out all of the old clothes that you used to wear just because, oh, I'm just throwing them on. I'm just chilling out. Throw all of them bullshit out. Make sure that every single bit of clothing in your wardrobe you feel your best in okay make sure that every bit of clothing you can walk outside of your house obviously pajamas and stuff aside whatever but when you're outside make sure that all of your clothing is clothes that you feel like yeah you know what i could go on a date in these clothes i could take a girl out in these clothes you know i could walk outside my house right now run into my dream girl and i could confidently talk to her because i feel good about myself because the clothes that i'm wearing are not just raggy holy fucking scruffy clothes right excuse me the clothes that you know what i feel good in Right now, bro, I'm just walking through the park. Again, I'm getting muddy. It's, I'm just going to go for a run. But I'm still wearing clothes that I feel good in. I'm still wearing clothes that right now I could run into my dream girl, whatever you want to call her. And I could confidently go over and speak to her because if you wear clothes that you don't feel confident in or you do not feel your best in, you will find that naturally you shy away from social situations. Naturally, you kind of, you don't want attention on you because oh, I don't want anyone to see me today because I look like shit. Or I'm just wearing my scruffy clothes. I don't want anyone to see me. You don't ever want to be in that position because you never know who you're going to meet. You might run into me and I'm going to take one look at you and think, 
what a tramp. You know, he's a nice guy, but fuck, you know, he can make the effort a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? I'm not doing no business collaborations with you. No, thank you. Goodbye. So you have to keep this in mind. You never know who you're going to meet on a day-to-day -day basis. With that being said, get rid of all your old clothes you don't feel confident in and replace them with number three, which is what we're going to talk about in a minute. New clothes, clothes that you feel good in, clothes that you, you know what, you can put anything on in that wardrobe and you can successfully step outside and talk to girls. You can talk to your maids. You feel confident walking around in those clothes. You don't have any clothing in your wardrobe at all that makes you feel like lesser than you should. All of your clothes make you feel your absolute fucking best make you feel absolutely attractive every single time you step outside the house, you know? And again, for whatever reason, if you are just going for a run or, you know, you're just, you're just chilling out, that's fine, but just make sure you look presentable. Right now, I'm just going for a run. I haven't had a shower yet. It's first thing since I got up. You know, I'm going for a run and getting sweaty anyway. I'm going to get muddy. So I may as well just throw anything on. But again, because my wardrobe consists of clothes that I feel confident in, those anything clothes that I just throw on to go for a run, I still look and feel good in them, right? Now, that brings me on to number three is how do we actually get new styles? How, what clothes do we actually buy? You know, the specifics now. What do, we, what, what do we actually do when it comes to buying clothes? Obviously, I'm not gonna tell you what to wear because if I would, I'd just tell you to dress like me and then we'd all look the same and it'll be boring. You have your own preference, you have your own style and that's completely fine and that's good. That's a good thing. Don't copy anybody else. Now, this brings me on to my point where I want you to be inspired by people, however. Do not copy. Don't just look at me or Tristan Tate or, you know, Andrew Tate or Hams or whatever and just, exactly copy them like okay this is the exact bit of clothing that i'm gonna get i want to look exactly the same don't do that because then you just again you're a carbon copy you're a sheep you're a follower you want to invent your own kind of style let's call it and you want to do something that you know what i feel like this is unique to me i don't see anyone else walking around really in you know a similar clothing style to me obviously there are similarities here and there but the, the specifics, like the heart and you know, it, it's unique to me. I feel like I've not copied it off anybody. This style is kind of just a, uh, a mix and mash of everyone that I'm inspired by, okay? And again, this is just my running clothes. So number one is trial and error. And of course you gotta get yourself out there. Fuck me, but that is gorgeous. You gotta get yourself out there and you just gotta try. Go to different clothing shops, go to different places, try different sizes, try different styles. This is exactly what I did before I found my style, right? I was going to, you know, H&M, I was going to River Island, I was going to Next, I was going to some expensive type clothing stores as well. I was just trying loads of different things and just seeing what kind of works for me. I knew I knew my kind of style that I was going for. I knew that what I wanted briefly, but I didn't know how to make it into a reality, right? So I just trial and error. Get out there, try loads of different clothing stores, find the one that works for you, find the one where you feel like, yeah, this is my clothing store, this, 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 this shit they have in here makes me feel good, makes me feel confident. I like all of the clothes in here pretty much. Yeah, bam, we found it. That only comes through practice, experience, trial and error. Number two is take inspiration from other people, obviously. Look at people on the internet, look at different, um, I guess, maybe even Pinterest ideas. I don't do that myself, but I know some people do, right? Just, again, take inspiration from anyone. Maybe you're walking down the street, oh, he's got a cool coat on, I like that. I'm gonna try and you know get something similar to that. That's cool. Always take inspiration, always learn from other people. Um, but really, when it comes to your style, again, if you are in shape, you know, you, you've now got your body sorted and you only wear clothes that you feel good in. You don't just buy anything because it's like, well, these can be my chill out clothes. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just going to throw these on to go to the shop. Like none of that shit. You only wear clothes that you feel you're absolutely best in. You're in shape. Now, number three, it really just comes down to whatever you want. What do you feel confident in? You know, what do you look at and think, yeah, this is me. This makes me feel like me. This is good. I like this. What is that for you? Find that through trial and error. Find that through a bit of inspiration. And um, yeah, that's it really. You're in shape. You know, you've, you've cleared out your wardrobe of all the shit clothes. And now you, you're trial and error. You're getting yourself out there. You're buying some new ones. You're looking at people on the internet maybe and thinking, you know what? I like that guy's style. I would like a, a style similar to that. Great, now you just gotta get out there and make it happen. Yeah, try those different things on. And again, it's all preference. Don't look at anyone else and think, ah, I should dress like that. Or this is how I should be dressing if I wanna get, like, do you know what I mean? If I wanna get girls or I wanna make friends. None of this shit actually matters. It's all preference and it's all whatever makes you feel confident. You walk around and you know what? I feel good in these clothes. That's all that fucking matters. Don't look at any trends. Don't try and fit in. Every now and then, of course, you can buy things that are trending. You know, like even my shoes, bro. I wear shoes that are kind of, I'm, I'm, very, I guess you could say materialistic when it comes to my shoes. Nothing, I don't care about anything else. This is from River Island. Like, bro, if you can see the little logo, it costs me like nothing. It's cheap. I don't care really about designer stuff or materialistic items like that. But I will say that 
you know, for my shoes, they have to be a certain brand. I don't want to be really walking around in like some sketches or some shit, nothing against it. Again, it's all preference, but for me, that's my style. That's what I go for, right? But again, really the main premise is just don't follow trends. Don't think that because everyone else is doing something that you have to do it as well. That's absolutely not the case. So if you can own it in a confident way, bruv, you're fine. Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, in terms of maybe get some accessories as well, trial and error with accessories, put a little chain on, put some bracelets on, fucking wind. One second, wait for it to go. The weather's so weird. Walking around with sunshine one minute and then it's windy and rainy and hailstorm the next. But yeah, trial and error with watches. Try some new watches on, try some, some chains on, some bracelets, whatever it is for you. You know what I mean? Maybe some rings. I don't really like rings myself, but I know some guys do, trial and error. It's all preference really at the end of the day. Don't take, don't think again, I really want to hone this down in your brain, that oh, I've got to dress like this in order to get girls or I've got to dress like this in order to be attractive or I have to wear these in order for people to validate me and like me that shit doesn't matter it's all preference wear what you feel confident in okay with that being said look after yourself the coaching is down below in the description go and get yourself in shape and um, go and pull off all of those clothing styles I'll see you soon look after yourself get some sun get some social connection make sure you stay hydrated go and get some food you know the drill right just look after yourself stay healthy and your body will repay you for it alright I'll see you soon bam